Hello viewers, today I am going to show you exclusive outdoor portrait edit with some easy steps. So for the first, we have to make the copy of this layer by pressing Ctrl and J. So here is the copied layer. Now we have to subtract the subject from the background. So I am going to take the quick selection tool and just brush on the area which we want to make selected. So we have selected this subject now we have to find the age of this subject therefore i'm going to select and mask and if you use photoshop cc 2015 or before version you have to go to the select and go to the refined age so i'm using photoshop cc 2018 therefore i'm going to select and mask and just take the refined edge brush tool and just brush on the outer edge of the subject like this So we have gotten our edge, therefore I'm clicking on OK. Now we have to take the layer mask for this layer, therefore I'm clicking on here. To select the subject, just press Ctrl and just click on this layer mask area. Now invisible this layer and go to the previous background layer and go to the select and go to modify and expand. And expand by 20 pixels, just click on OK. So now I'm going to vanish this subject from this background layer. Therefore, I'm going to edit and fill and continue over and click on OK. So now we are seeing the subject is vanished. So now we have to remove this pores and make it fix properly. So we have removed these pores, therefore just visible this layer. So now it looks okay. Now we have to give a little bit blur on the background. Therefore select the background layer and go to the filter and blur gallery and fill sheet. Now give the blur around 120. And just reposition the blurred area. I think a little bit less blur looks good. Therefore, I'm reducing the blur and hand it to. Now just click on OK. So now we have to make the color correction. Therefore, I'm taking adjustment layer, which is selective color, and taking the colors yellow and giving sign around negative hundred percent and giving a little bit magenta and taking another color which is green and giving the sign negative 100% and giving a little bit magenta. Now just reduce this opacity a little bit. Around 63% is okay. Now I'm going to take another adjustment layer uh, which is color lookup and I'm just taking Fuji F125 Kodak 2395 by Adobe Dot Cube. I'm taking another adjustment layer, which is color balance, and I'm giving a little bit blue and giving a little bit sand. Now I'm going to give a big netting effect on this photo. Therefore, I'm taking another layer and the new layer and taking the foreground color black and take the brush tool and take the soft brush. Give the opacity around 100%. Now we have to take a layer mask for this layer and take the brush tool again and give the foreground color black and just brush on this middle of this artboard. and to reposition it properly by pressing shift and dragging it.
I think this is okay now. So this is before and this is after. Now I'm going to take a light ray on this image. Therefore I'm taking another new layer and taking the brush tool and making the foreground color a little bit yellowish. And I'm taking the brush which is light ray. You can easily get this brush on from my description. So just take this and give the opposite 100% just press here. So here you're seeing the light and just reposition this light properly. Now I think this is okay now. Now I'm clicking on okay. Now we have to reduce this side of light. Therefore I'm taking new layer marks and taking the brush tool and taking the soft brush and giving the opposite around 50% and just brush on this area very smoothly. Now I'm going to give a little bit blur on this light ray. Therefore, I'm going to filter blur and Gaussian blur. Giving around 8 radius. Now delete this side of this light. So we have edited the light. Now we just have to make the brighten of this face uh, to make it more realistic. Therefore, I'm taking another new layer and going to edit, fill, and taking 50% gray and giving the blending modes to overlay. And just take the dodge tool and give the exposure around 50% and just brush on this side where the light is falling. So we have completed the dodge and this was before of dodge and this is after the dodge. Now if we add some leaves on these sides, hope it will look good. Therefore I'm going to add the leaves image. So this is the leaves. Now I'm just dragging and drop on this frame and just reposition it properly. Now we have to make the leaves like the background color. Therefore, I'm taking a new adjustment layer and taking the selective color and just giving the clipping mask for this layer and giving the color yellow and giving a negative sun. So now I think it's okay. So this selective color is only work for this layer 5 because we have clipping mask it only for the layer 5. So I think here this adjustment is not properly. So I'm making a little bit increase. So this is okay now. Now if you take, so make it more realistic, I'm taking another layer and giving the brush tool and taking the soft brush 
are just brushing on this area to make it more realistic. So this is all about the exclusive portrait edit by some EG steps. So hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. So please, please, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and keep liking and commenting on my videos. Thank you.